Hello to my lovely art family. We have a really fun painting project planned for today. That was a lot of onomatopoeia right there. Beforehand, uh, we have this festive little hot chocolate drink. Let me show you. Delicious. I did not have Christmas colored sprinkles, so. We instead just have a colorful cup that is very hot. Nothing like a cup of Christmas cheer. We are going to do something festive for the holidays. If you do not celebrate Christmas, I invite you to still hang out anyway, because this isn't gonna be like super Christmassy. It's just to have fun and hang out, and I welcome everybody here. So, if you celebrate something else, please feel free to share what you celebrate down below and we can learn about so many different cultures. I always think that's a very special experience to learn what other people celebrate, so yeah. Okay, so I have this black bag of stuff. You probably already know what it is from the title of this video. However, uh, we're gonna have some fun painting these things. Christmas ornaments. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, they can just be like mini paintings that you hang on your walls or you can turn them into coasters. So many options. So let's just get all our stuff out here. Get a couple of these. Ooh, this is gonna be messy. These actually are very high quality. The bark is missing from some of them, but I like how thick they are. Mm. We also have some really cute ribbon because I love adding some pizzazz. I actually already opened this bag earlier. Let me show you something. The ribbon that came with this like Amazon bag of ornaments was really disappointing. This is like paper ribbon. It's not gonna last for a tree. And then there's twine. We might use the twine, but I might also use this to wrap presents later. We have fancy ribbon, because we're going all out. This is gonna be bougie. So let's paint, let's hang out. I am going to watch cheesy Christmas movies while I do this, because painting ornaments is actually really time consuming. And I just kind of feel like watching Christmas movies. So we're gonna do that. All right, let's have fun. All right, folks, we have a lot of painting to do. So the first thing I'm doing is covering a few wood slices with burnt sienna acrylic paint. Now, I know some people will disagree with me right off the rip and they will choose to gesso. However, if you don't care about your wood cracking, if you kind of like that rustic look, it's really not a huge deal. Just don't use like a ton of water if you don't want your wood to crack but like, I really don't care. I just think it's cute. So <laughs> I just do what I want. Anyway, I decided I wanted to paint a mug of hot chocolate because I was just sipping on some and uh, it just sounded so cozy for the holidays. I decided to do a giant dollop of whipped cream instead of marshmallows. I'm really happy with how that little dollop came out. <laughs> Now, as far as reference photos go for this, I didn't really use one for this mug. Honestly, I kind of just looked at the mug I was drinking, kind of got a basic shape down and went with my imagination. I think that's the beauty of these little wood slices. It is really easy to just make stuff up and have fun with it. I added a little bit of greenery to make things more festive and kept it pretty simple. At this point, I thought, hmm, we need some glitter. Let's put glitter on this. So with the snowy like bokeh background, I put glitter all over it and then I left the mug like normal, but I was really happy with how it came out.
I'm just gonna interrupt our lovely painting sesh for a minute and let you know that I still have holiday mystery boxes available if you want one. So I think there's 50 left, give or take. If you don't know what these are, half of the box is a mystery, and then the other half, you know what you're getting. So everybody gets the same notepad and the same enamel pin. Here's the cute little Blubblefly notepad. And here's the super cute Cozy Fox enamel pin. So yeah, every box gets that. And then you get four or five mystery stickers and two mystery prints. So it's a really good deal for the holidays. And I just love surprising you folks with like mystery things in boxes. It just, I don't know, something about it is just so fun. And yeah, so if you want one, you can go to mirabyler.com. That's all, that's all I wanted to say. So this is the last festive ornament of the video before we get into some funky stuff. But I thought it would be really fun to celebrate winter and embrace the snow that's going to be hitting Ohio soon. We've already gotten some snow, but I think it's really pretty just looking into a snow covered forest and just seeing snow covering all the trees and uh, it's just so beautiful. So I decided to paint it and again, I went with my imagination. I thought it was really fun. It kind of brought out a fun illustrative style and I feel like this is the kind of thing I would see on a Christmas card or something. I don't know. <laughs> Here it is. So this one, if you've watched any of my older videos, it may seem pretty familiar to you. But actually last year, when I painted Christmas ornaments, I started doing these wildflower fields. And I thought, oh, this is just so fun to paint on ornaments. Because if you celebrate Christmas and you hang this on your Christmas tree, it's a nice reminder that seasons are temporary and spring is coming and flowers will bloom again. And you know, that whole cycle repeats itself and everything turns beautiful. Yeah, and winter has its own beauty too, but sometimes a nice reminder that spring is coming is nice for me. So yeah, I like to do these wildflower fields. I do them with like mini paintings and stuff too. You guys have probably seen it a lot. It is something that brings me a lot of joy and it's really stress relieving to paint these. Well, I decided to save the best for last because only about 50% of people in my analytics like stay until the end of a video. So, you know, the people who take the time to watch, I like to reward them with the better piece at the end. And I think this one is just really cool. So I hope you like it. I decided to do an eye with like really bright pink skin and like purple eyebrows and stuff just to mess around with color. I think it's really fun to do that and it kind of makes intimidating things seem less intimidating when you shift the color scheme over to something like completely different. So I like to do that from time to time. And I don't know why I've been really into just like shading with different like pinks and purples and blues and just achieving like weird pastel -y tones and stuff, but it's been fun. I decided to add some stars too because I did a tiny painting a couple months ago and I put a star or a heart below the eye and it just inspired me to try it again. So I hope you like it. 
You know what? Let's add pizzazz. We need glitter. Yes. There we go. Now we're done. <laughs> I hope you like it. I think I said this earlier in the video, but painting Christmas ornaments is one of my favorite videos to make every year. I know I just started doing it last year, but I really enjoy it. So we did four ornaments and if I'm feeling extra ambitious, I might do another ornament painting video again this year just because I enjoy it so much and they make really good like gift toppers for people. And yeah, these four specifically are gonna go up in my shop though because I love having the tradition every year where you guys can get some of my art for a lot cheaper than a normal painting and you can hang some ornaments on your tree. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can, you know, hang them on your wall whatever you want to do. So yeah, these will be available at mirabyalert.com. I think this ornament is my favorite because I really like coffee and hot chocolate and just all those warm, happy winter drinks. So this one here, and I put a lot of glitter on it to make it feel like it was snowing. Mm, so fun. I also put glitter on this one and oh my goodness, it just feels so magical. <laughs> Anyway, folks, I hope you had fun just hanging out, geeking out over art together. I hope you're all doing well and having a beautiful week. I will see you soon in another video. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.